my feet doesn't have any air in it, so she's in the Which short seat. <laughs> Hello up there. So what are we doing today? Surprise. Oh, surprise. Well, yeah, I'm sure everyone may be able to figure it out by now, but uh, especially since you have your CFO with you. That's right. Banker slash CFO with me, so it's an exciting day, folks. And no, we're not getting a case. But we are dropping the 153 off for the new 260. So stay tuned. We'll get them unloaded and switched around. Are you going to run the new 260? Absolutely. All right. Maybe we'll get Missile Lead in there. So. Yep, we're pulling in to get this one unloaded and we will be back shortly. Okay, here is the long-awaited 2019 Takahuchi TB260. Uh, I got the angle blade on it. And as you can see, I got a few buckets just to go around. I got a work brow hydraulic uh, coupler this time instead of the manual. So I got work brow buckets to go with it. We got a 24, a 12, because the concrete guys were just begging me to get a 12-inch bucket. Which is probably all I'm going to use that one for is just to uh, dig footings. I think code here, uh, 16 inch wide ditch. So a lot of these guys here, what they do with all the rock we have, they take a 12 inch bucket. By the time you dig it out, you got a 16 or 18 inch wide ditch. Uh, and then I got an 18. I was looking at another 16, but they're kind of a custom order deal. And I think the 18 ended up being way cheaper than the uh, 16. And then a 42 inch grading bucket and yeah you'll notice that right now it still has the tag thumb on it i guess the work brow coupler has not arrived yet i don't know what the deal is if it's on back order or what what that is with that so they let me take it the way it is we'll use the uh tag thumb on there for now which i don't really know i think from what he told me it's actually a little narrower than uh what this one is but I don't, I don't know i mean this may not be bad it just i don't know if i like the design as much where it kind of has this curve and then it goes back out but i know when i had the 24 inch bucket on there earlier it just barely touches uh right there on top of the cutting edge in between the teeth i don't know i'm weird like that i like all my stuff to match so it's got a work brow coupler and bucket i'd like to have a work brow thumb as well it's a nice machine. I, uh, <laughs> I mean, I knew my 153 was pretty worn out, but yeah, this thing's quick and everything's nice and tight on it. It's smooth. It's quiet. The cab is way bigger. I can actually run the, uh, oh, I can actually control it with my feet on the tracks and stuff and move back and forth. And it's a conventional excavator instead of the zero tail swing, even though I think it only overhangs the tracks. I don't know, maybe, you know, five, eight inches, something like that. So, but I think the whole thing's a little bit wider, a little bit longer. I know with the angle blade, it sticks out about six or eight inches further than what the other one did. 
yeah this is kind of the machine and then uh, i guess this work brow it's a kind of an aftermarket kit which i don't know i'm probably telling a whole bunch of you that watch this uh something that you already know but i, I was kind of new to all this stuff but it's just a kit that uh they put i kind of thought when you order these from the factory and you wanted a hydraulic coupler they just came that way but apparently they're most of them's uh just kind of a kit that they put on but uh it's got one button i guess you touch to kind of activate it and another one you hold and curl it up to uh disengage it and then when you get ready to engage it you just hit another button but i like it it's a lot handier than getting out and uh putting that pin and i'm hoping it doesn't get as sloppy as what that other one does so that's kind of what i was hoping for was how it i think it's it's either this side or that other side that press down on that pin and keep it staying in there so we'll uh we'll see how that works yeah everything's a little bit different like i said i'm probably telling everybody on here that uh already something that they know but some of this stuff is kind of new to me on the uh, excavator side of thing like the, the loaders and the grading and stuff that's pretty much all i've ever done in the last few years just kind of added the excavation or the excavator side of things it's been a good learning experience We'll get it fired up here. And I'm actually hoping to start making some more videos maybe inside the cab where it'll be a little bit quieter in here. But how well this is to see. Yeah, we got the radio, HVAC controls, and then all of our little switches right here. So, which this is a, I want to say it's a 48 or 49 horsepower so i think it does regen but it does not have def it's got the dpf filter in it I'll just kind of raise it up there and then the right button and then it does have a float mode into it which only make my last one had a float we'll try that camera angle and see This is just how much smoother and quicker the machine is. Not so much me being smoother and quicker, just the machine. Yeah, I'm probably going to be worse at running it for a while until <laughs> I was kind of used to. Uh, overcompensating on that other one because I knew it had some slop and stuff like that in it. And I think I'm really going to like this grading button. I've been messing around with it more than I have anything else today. It's probably going to take a little getting used to. Like I said, I don't controller for the hydraulic coupler it's to me it's kind of big and awkward i guess normally they i said they tried to find a spot up here or like double side tape it to the glass but i'm going in later this week to have the windows on this tin and i just i don't know i thought it would look weird up there and i run i don't know what backo pattern or john deere whatever pattern where this does the boom 
and this does the stick and the bucket. So I kind of got with them and figured the easiest thing for me, because I got to curl it back with my right hand, I can just reach over here and hit this. And uh, like I said, I, I don't I don't like stuff, I guess, out of the ordinary. I want some everything to kind of have a nice, neat place to it. So I'm like I said, I'm weird. I don't OCD like that, but. Uh, yeah, basically to get it to activate it, I think you hold the green until you hear it beep. Well, I can do this two hands. And then you hold that one, curl it back. And you can kind of see that yellow dot kind of goes in there. Sorry, that thing is, makes a god awful noise. And then when you want to curl it back, there's a yellow button back here. You just hit that, and then that little tab sticks back out, and you're good to go. So. It's 18, just I don't know, these buckets just look kind of small to me. But. We got a 12 volt charger here so I can actually start charging my phone inside here. And it's got Bluetooth on the radio. And a cup holder. Yeah, we did have a cup holder, so. Pretty stoked. This is where you put the fuel in now. Which, I don't think that'll be, be all that bad. I think this is just, Yeah, and then they told me this is the short pan if I ever decide to take the uh, thumb off, which I may have to move that. And then, yeah, there's a light right here. It doesn't have the light up on the cab. It's got the one on the boom. There's one on the side. Uh, then the other one's here, I thought. Yeah. There's another one right there. And what I really like is uh, everything's packed in there, but it looks pretty simple to get. I'm not sure, I'll have to read the book if the cab even flips up, but I mean, there's your battery. This is just kind of a little cubby area, which is kind of nice. You can set stuff in there. Uh, pattern changer, all the hydraulic tank right there. And then this one, the whole back opens up as well. Like I said, it's still packed in there, but I do like the fact that it all, it all opens up. It seems fairly easy to clean out. You know, there's your air filter, radiator, and then your uh, condenser for the air conditioner and stuff. But yeah, that, uh, there it is. Like I said, I am extremely excited to try this thing out. I've never never bought anything brand new. Been newer, but not brand, brand new. But yeah, that was the first thing uh, you realize is just how, how uh, loose and worn out that other machine was. Which, I mean, I could tell, and I'm sure everybody else could tell from the videos, but... Yeah, definitely looking forward to the projects ahead with this machine.